Hello once again to all. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, your favorite source for all things forestry, lumber price, U.S. housing, and the best of all the data to come out to give everyone an idea of what is happening with the lumber market, why is it happening, and then what's going on with the housing market. So today, uh, so happy to see that my last update on the uh, Canada and U.S. Uh, lumber production volumes, sawmill capacity utilization rates, which comes out of our good friends at the Western Wood Products Association in Portland, Oregon, put together with the rail car loadings, Canada and U.S. for forest products. Um, a lot of positive comments, people understanding why I'm showing you that and uh, making the relationship between these important data sets and the lumber prices, which let you know what's happening with housing. So let's dive in and look right now to see what the graphs are and what the data is telling us, because the latest um, update from the WWPA shows Finally, uh, both Canadian and U.S. lumber production is up, and in Canada, the sawmill utilization rate recovered really quite a bit from those terrible lows of one year ago, which is one of the reasons that uh, supply was down and prices went up so high so fast. So this is the latest data from the Western Wood Products Association. It's for March of 2021. U.S. lumber production is up 17% from February and is up 10% from March of 2020. Okay, Canada lumber production is up 21% from February and is up 13% from March of 2020. So just by looking on the graph, you can see those lows of one year ago are far behind us. I would expect those trend lines there at um, end of the, the end of the graph to continue uh, in the coming months as the industry finally adjusted to the changes from the COVID. So for the capacity utilization rates, again, super, super low one year ago, recovering to um, not high, but at least not really low. So the U.S. Uh, sawmill capacity utilization rates were um, 87 uh, percent for March of 2021. That's compared to like 85 percent a year ago, so not that much of a change. But in Canada, recovery was to 85 percent of capacity compared to the horrible, horrible lows one year ago of 77 percent. So this is the data that comes right off the Association of American Railroads website every week, and they do a cumulative, you know, year to date. So what we have for the first 22 weeks of this year in the U.S., total intermodal all traffic rail cars is up 14%. That's not just forest products, as the graph is showing you, that's all, because they don't pull out the forest products data very often. So in Canada, similarly, for the first 22 weeks of this year, total rail car traffic in the U.S. is up 9%. So a lot of these issues of supply chain and uh, deliveries have been resolved, and we're moving into higher rates of transportation. This is the graph from Yardeni that so many people like because it puts the rail car loadings against housing starts, similar to the graphs that I do of my lumber prices against housing starts. They also don't really pull out the actual data, but I did find something on a site called railspur.com that showed forest products, lumber, and pulp and paper for April of 2021 up 4%. Um, just lumber, year to date, to April, is up 5.4%. So not up a lot, but at least better than it was before. So as is often the case with these kind of things, uh, some things are up and some things are down, but definitely looking up for um, the supply and the transportation of finished lumber products, getting to the customer who's been waiting a long time and um, in that time lumber prices were going up. And so it's just the middle of June right now. Uh, normally at this time of year, um, lumber sales are slowing down and prices are getting softer because 
the very large home builders and even the sort of medium sized and smaller contractors, definitely the retail lumber yards, have already ordered their wood and most likely even received it for this year's building season. Um, because there was uh, so many issues with uh, just production supply and even supply chain with transportation, some of those large customers might still be uh, waiting for wood that they ordered or even ordering more. We won't know. We don't know. Um, everything is very week to week, but this latest data with the uh, lumber production and sawmill capacity and the rail car loadings at least looks like it's moving in the right direction of getting more supply out to the waiting customers into the market, which will probably have some kind of effect on potentially bringing prices down. Stay tuned, check my website, subscribe to the actual data uh, login email, which um, the data update is every Friday morning, and check back often. We'll be uh, making some more of these videos throughout the summer season.